Hello everyone. I'm here to present the solution for Katak County. So the first thing you'll notice is that this is a dynamic programming problem. So one initial step you can do is you can define dp x to y to denote the number of Kataks that you can form if you only consider characters from x to y inclusive, and dp0 to n minus 1 is the answer. Um, so like one thing off the bat that you can notice is that Kataks are symmetric about the midpoint of the string. Um, so we're really only interested in dp x, y, where x plus y is equal to n minus 1. And this reduces the number of states to only O of n, uh, and this simplifies the problem a lot. Um, so we can simplify this notation to just be dpz, just the start point, but like this kind of corresponds to z to n minus 1 minus z. Uh, and in this case, z only goes from 0 to like n over 2. Um, so that's the dp state formu uh, formulation, and let's go to the dp transitions. So the transition is also not too bad. Uh, basically, think about it as adding one word to the katek at a time. So in this case, dpi, you fix the start point of the word, and then you say where you want the word to end. And then f of ij is just like one way to say the number of ways to make substring i to j match substring n minus j to n minus i. Um, in this case, like to count the number of ways two substrings match, you compare them character by character. And if one of them is a question mark, there's 26 ways to fill in this character. Otherwise, it's one if they're equal and zero otherwise. Um, and number of ways is like product for each character. Um, yeah, so this uh, naively is O of n cubed uh, because as we can see, there's n states. Each state looks at n substates in its transition. And each substate takes O of n time to compute uh, because f of ij takes O of n time naively to compute. Uh, so one way you can speed to this you can try to speed this up is you can cache the values of ij because fij you can uh, try to remove like one character or something and then like hope that they're still uh, matching. Um, but this will take too much memory. So we need a different solution that doesn't take n squared memory. So right now, one way to think about it is we're fixing the start point and we're iterating through all words that start at that point and then adding it to our katek. So we're kind of finalizing the dp t, um, values one by one from right to left. Um, so instead, let's change the order that we compute the dp table uh, because there's a lot of uh, repeated work being done when we're computing fij. So instead of fixing the start point, let's instead fix the center point of the word that we want to add to our katek. Um, this way, f of ij can be computed in constant time as because like we're just expanding one character to the right uh, like one character to the start and end of the word that we're adding. Um, and we don't need to recompute everything in between. Um, so this speeds it up. Um, so like we aren't finalizing the DP t uh, values one by one uh, as we're going right to the left. Instead, we're uh, like fixing the center point. And once the center point passes like a certain point, those DP tables on the right uh, side are all finalized. Um, so that's basically the crux of the problem. Um, there are some edge cases you have to handle. So like, for example, if the original string, the length is odd length, uh, you can remove the middle character and then like multiply the final answer by 26 if it's a question mark. Um, and then this way you can assume the string is always even length. That simplifies some implementation. Um, you will also need to handle adding odd and even length words to connect separately because when you fix the center point of a word, it either lies exactly on a character in the string or it lies in between two characters. You need to handle those two cases separately. Um, and then the last special case you have to handle is like um, the middle word of the katek doesn't actually need to match anything else. So you can um, compute the number of ways to do that first before uh, doing any of your transitions. Um, yeah, so that's basically the solution for katek counting.